Hi friends, it's Jason, your marketing professor, and today I have something a bit different for you. Normally I give you marketing lessons in five minutes or less, but I think today's topic is something worth going a little deeper into. I want to talk a bit more about Google Analytics. Now, depending on where you are in your digital marketing journey, uh, Google Analytics is probably something you've heard about, but you probably haven't really been able to sink your teeth into. Now, if you have, that's fantastic. Good for you. This will be a bit of a bonus. But if you haven't, and maybe you've just heard the term, you've heard people talk about it, you're probably wondering, well, what does it do? How much is it? And how can I get in on this deal? Well, I'm going to give you five different uh, pieces to ponder on today, and you'll have a pretty good understanding of the value Google Analytics can bring you, your website, and your business. So let's dive in. Website Performance Insights. With Google Analytics, you can take a deep dive into your website and see how it's performing. You can see who's coming to your website. You can see how long they're staying on your website. You can also see where they're going on your website. You know, one of the things we've talked about in prior videos is being able to have a specific goal. And if your goal is to sell more running shoes or more kayaks or get more people to sign up for ski lessons, you want to know that somebody is getting to your, your sign up page or your purchase page and whether or not they're going to take an item, put it in the cart, and whether or not they're going to buy those things. You see, here's what normally happens. You have whether something on social media or streaming television or streaming audio or on YouTube and you're driving people to your website and you've got this goal of selling a thing, whether it's your time or a widget or like I said, kayaks, ski lessons, uh, whatever. And without Google Analytics, all you have to measure success is whether or not people are buying your thing. Are they buying? Yes, I'm successful. Are they buying? No, I'm not successful. But Google Analytics can tell you if people are coming to your actual website and maybe not getting to your landing page, maybe not getting to the specific offer. It'll help you determine whether or not you've got the right content written. For example, maybe somebody goes to your website to reserve ski lessons, but it takes somebody four, five, six clicks to get to the reservations page. You can see all this data and you can learn that that may be a problem. Here's an example. I was working with a hospital, large hospital, and they're always recruiting. And this is going to be a thing with those in the medical industry is that they're always recruiting people. But after talking with the HR team, they were like, well, you know, we, we don't seem to get a whole lot of applicants. So I dove into their Google Analytics. It was built into their website. And what I could see is that a lot of people were going to the website, but along the journey of filling out the application, they were leaving. It's called a bounce. It's called bounce rate. It's kind of like if you go to a party and you don't like the atmosphere, you bounce, right? So people were leaving. And when we leaned into the application process, it took 17 different clicks for somebody to apply for a job. We don't have that attention span anymore. We've got the attention span of a gnat. 17 clicks is a lot. So what the Google Analytics told us, it didn't tell us that, hey, people don't want a job. What it told us is that the HR department really needs to streamline their process to help people to find a job. We have to make the process smoother. The next piece I want to talk about is audience analysis. One of the things we've talked about in an earlier video is being able to identify who your perfect customer is. Now remember, it's easy to say anybody can be my customer, anybody skis, anybody kayaks, anybody runs, anybody buys my widget. But if you can focus and really niche down your focus on the most profitable customer, you can determine with Google Analytics whether or not that person is coming to your website. You can see their age, you can see their gender, you can see where they're from. So if you know that you wanted to talk to, let's just say, a female with a household income of $75,000 or more that lives within, say, a 150 mile radius of your property, who has um, interest in outdoor activities, who's married and has a master's degree, I know it's creepy, you can see all that data on your Google Analytics. 
you can also determine this is the person I want to spend 80% of my effort talking to. Now, other people are going to come to your website, and that's fine. But again, keep in mind, your computers, your cell phones, your tablets have an abundance of data that we don't want people to have, but it shares with, with us marketers anyway. And as marketers, we value information. So if we see that the person who's going to our website is a, a male between the ages of 18 and 22 with a $20,000 a year income and a high school diploma, yet our message is talking to that female I just described, they're probably not going to buy your product. So what do you do? Well, then you look at your marketing and you refine your message. You make sure that you have things targeted to that ideal Facebook, uh, or excuse me, that ideal female candidate. And you make sure that you've got the right messaging. You're putting it in the right space. You know, one of the things that used to happen with broadcast TV is you'd put an ad on, say, an NFL football game where 100,000 people or a million people might be watching the game. And then you hope that the right person sees your message. Well, with digital marketing, you can say, hey, I only want females between this age group, this income, these interests to see my message. And then we can see those people when they actually click on our website or our specific landing page. And as we review those Google Analytics on a regular basis, we can say, yes, we're getting people to our landing page. Are they taking the specific action that we want them to take? Your Google Analytics will tell you specifically the type of person that's on your website, and that'll help you to make whatever adjustments you need to make. Because after all, just because somebody isn't buying, maybe we've got the wrong offer, maybe we've got the wrong customer, maybe we need to readjust some things. Next piece I want to talk to you about is goals and conversions. What we can do, remember we've talked about this before, is we've set a specific goal for our digital marketing project. We're going to increase our sales by 10% doing Facebook marketing within a 100 mile radius of our business for whatever that looks like. Now again, with digital marketing, you can go global, but maybe we've got a specific offer to people just within a 100 miles. Well, we can see if we are going to meet those goals based on the type of person we're talking to. And again, we can measure, we can track, and we can make adjustments on a regular basis. Again, it's real easy to get stuck in the minutia of Google Analytics, but when you have this built into your website, you can see specifically if it looks like you're going to achieve your goals. I'm gonna go back to my hospital example. For uh, three months out of the year, we focused a lot of our attention on cardiac care. Now, again, a hospital isn't doing anything like, you know, come in today, get a cardiac exam for free. No, it's not like that. It's an awareness campaign, but the whole idea behind the, the, the campaign is if somebody feels like they're having certain symptoms, which are part of the messages that are being shared as part of that campaign, we want to encourage people to call the cardiac clinic and make an appointment. What we were able to see is that we focused on folks within a 50 mile radius, is that people were seeing the message, they were clicking on the message, then they were making a phone call. We had a tracking number built into our Google Analytics, and we were able to determine that over the course of a month, we got 75 new cardiac patients as a direct result of somebody seeing, clicking, calling, and making an appointment, going through that sales funnel that we've talked about. We were able to determine that this was a successful campaign because by really leaning into the numbers, we were able to monetize it and say that the average new patient, and again with cardiac care, they could be a patient for a few minutes if things go badly, they could be a patient for a lifetime. After breaking down average numbers, we were able to determine that we were well into the eight figure range, which was great success for those bean counters above our heads. Another real win for your Google Analytics is your e-commerce tracking. So if you are selling something on your website, whether it's a custom build or it's something like Shopify, you can see how much money you're making. You can see what the popular products are. You can see what page people are spending the most time on. Are they looking at a product that you have for sale? Are they looking at a product that you have not for sale, but they're spending a lot of time on that web page? Maybe this is a product you want to promote. I'm going to use kayaks as an example. 
Um, kayaking season, for the most part, is a, t is a summertime sport, but I find myself shopping for a new boat right around the end of the year. I have found that I could get a new boat at a granddaddy of a price, or I can get a boat that's been pre-used as part of a demo fleet at a pretty remarkable price. But oddly enough, uh, none of the kayaking companies are marketing to me. This is just something I've learned from working in that space. But if you're a kayak shop and you see that people are starting to go to your rental fleet or starting to go to your web page and you're starting to see an uptick, an uptick as your season starts to end, you can start to put some things together and say, hmm, I've got more people on my website. I've got more people browsing my items. Maybe it's an opportunity for me to put together some kind of a special offer. Now, again, I'm not saying lower your price. I'm talking about building massive value. Maybe you've got inventory that you need to get rid of because you don't have the space to hold it. Okay, fine. If it's uh, like your rental fleet, that's more than paid for, you've made money off of it, and you want to sell a $1,000 boat for $500 with uh, a rack installation, something along those lines, there's an opportunity there, but you can use Google Analytics to see specifically how your e-commerce is trending. So again, you'll know what's popular, but if you see that people are buying a lot of your purple kayaks instead of your red kayaks, you can start to make a determination that maybe purple is something people are interested in, and that will tell you to buy more purple kayaks instead of red kayaks. Or they're buying long boats or short boats or two-person boats. What are people interested in? And that'll help you to stay on top of trends so that you're constantly evolving with your market. So pay attention to your Google Analytics as part of your e-commerce platform. Another item I want you to use Google Analytics for is to use the data you have to make important decisions. You can use Google Analytics to see whether or not you need to have more products in stock. You can use the analytics to tell you what type of products to have in stock. Do you need to have more people staffed? Maybe you're doing ski lessons and you see that for a certain weekend you've got an abundance of people with reservations. You need to have more ski instructors lined up. You can use this data to help you make more informed decisions. Gone are the days of going with our gut or doing what we've always done. Now we have big data that's gonna help us make these decisions and the decisions that you make are going to be a win every time. So use the data that you have. Talk to your web designer, ask the question first of all, are Google or is Google Analytics built into my website? And if it's not, get it built in and start exploring all this data. And if it is there and you don't know how to do it or how to make sense of all this data, reach out to somebody who does. Talk to your web designer, send me an email. I'll be more than happy to help you walk through it. You can find me at my website, themarketingprofessor.net. You can also find me at all the social places online. You can also now find me on Discord. Thanks a lot for joining me on this lesson on Google Analytics. I'll talk to you next time. See ya.